Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a bathroom deep clean. So the first thing I do is I just grab all the towels and throw those in the hamper so they can be washed. Then I'm also going to grab my floor mats. They get clean monthly. I'm just gonna add these to the wash and then I'm also gonna go back and grab the shower curtain and take that down and add that to the wash. So I'm adding in my shower curtain with my floor mats but I don't recommend doing this I actually got a lot of um, little fuzzies on my uh, shower curtain, so I know better for next time. But I'm just going to add in a Tide Pod and then I'm going to grab some white vinegar instead of softener because I want my floor mats to be fluffy and I want everything to be disinfected. I'm just going to start the washer and then start my next task. I'm just going to grab my pine saw and a bucket and then also a cloth and a stick to clean the walls. So I'm just using my bathroom sponge stick to clean the walls and then I'm going to wrap my cloth around it. I don't really have a mop or anything specific for cleaning walls so I'm going to be testing out a few different things as I deep clean my house. So I'm just adding Fibulosa and warm water. So I'm just going to add my cloth, wring it out, and then wrap that around the sponge. I'm only going to show a small part of my washing the walls because I have to hold my camera, I don't have a stand, and it was very difficult with the cloth and everything, but this is the walls all clean. So I'm just emptying out this whole shelf here that I have, and then I'm going to wipe this out completely because it doesn't get done every week for my weekly cleans. I just put everything over here in the sink and then I'm just going to use the same water and go ahead and wipe that out. Um, I also did all the uh, baseboards when I was washing walls. So this is the water from the walls, baseboards, and from the shelf there, and also the bottom of my vanity I wiped off. It just did not show that in the video. But I was actually surprised at how brown my water was. Now I'm just gonna take everything from here and put it back 
up in the shelves. And there you have it. So now I'm going to be doing the bathtub, which means taking out everything from the shelf here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw all of this stuff in the sink as well. And then I'm just gonna add some pine salt to my bathtub. And I'm also gonna be adding my Barkeeper's Friend Spray. And um, putting in the toilet bowl cleaner. So I let that sit while I clean the bathtub. I don't know why I do this, but I always let it sit for a bit before cleaning. Not sure if you're actually supposed to do that or not. Let me know what you guys do. So yeah, I have the Barkeeper's um, friend's spray for the bathroom. It's actually like an all-purpose cleaner. And then I'm just gonna grab my cloth for later. And then clean my sponge and some water and clean out the tub first and then I wipe down the walls. The sponge has been super helpful especially since I can't really clean out the tub with just a cloth anymore because I'm pregnant so my belly just gets in the way. But also if it looks like I don't really know what I'm doing I was holding the camera and cleaning so it was a little bit difficult for me. I really like this sponge, it gets in the corners everywhere really great because of the shape and it's just super simple to clean my walls with. I used to just use a cloth and you know do it, have to reach over and do it by hand but this is so much easier. Let me, get, let me know what you guys do, use a sponge brush or just a cloth. And then I'm going to turn my shower head on and try to rinse out part of it because I don't have a head that detaches. So I just spray wherever I can and then I wipe everything else off with a cloth. I just like to wipe off the walls real quick, take off any soapy residue that I couldn't rinse off. And now that the tub's all clean, I just put everything back. And now I move on to cleaning the top of my sink. I like to clean the sink and the bathtub before I do the toilet. That way once I'm done cleaning, I just throw my cloth out and it's ready to be washed. <laughs> And now my sink's all clean and I put everything back. So now moving on to my toilet, I just like to start by wiping off the outside rim and everything on the outside.
and then I grabbed my toilet brush cleaner and I know my water was kind of gross in there but it's actually pine salt just to keep like it smelling fresh Now I'm just going to put the lid over top of my brush here so I can let it dry out a bit before adding it back to its spot and then finishing wiping off the rest of the toilet. I give the top of my toilet a wipe off every week so it's not that hard to keep up with. As you can see here I'm just adding dryer sheets and adding my floor mats to the dryer making sure the lint trap is empty before turning it on. Now I'm just going to start with the floors. Just gonna do um, a sweep here with my broom. Adding all that to the trash, which I also took out. And then I'm just gonna grab my glass cleaner before I forget and clean off my mirror. As you guys can see, that's me holding my phone. That's how I film my videos most of the time. So hopefully I find a better system yet. If you guys have any tips on how you film with your iPhone, let me know. I'm also just gonna spray um, these knobs here with the Windex because it just leaves it looking really nice and shiny and doesn't leave any watermarks or residue. Just putting those things back and then I'm ready to take out the trash and then I'm going to wash the floors. So the only kind of mop I have is a spray mop, but what I have in there is when I fill it, I fill it with Fabulosa and warm water. Obviously the water doesn't stay warm. It does last me um, a few weeks, so. I have been seeing the O Cedar mop um, everywhere, the spin mop, and it's, I really wanna buy it. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully one day I'll be able to really be able to clean my floors much better than just with the Swiffer, but so far that's what we have, and then that's the bathroom. Hey guys, so that was my deep clean my bathroom with me video. If you guys have any tips and tricks you wanna share down in the comments below, feel free to share those with me and keep an eye out for more videos like this. I'll be doing a little series of my deep cleaning for the month, so be sure be sure to hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notifications so you know when I post another video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.